So I said we would say that everything came from the spine, but uh, people would push <laughs> and think they're using the spine. It's, it's the utilisation of understanding the potential of putting side bends over curves to produce a rotary helicular kind of power that is a turbine for movement. And that's where our power base actually lies. Now when we're not switched on and we're not integrated with our energies from left to right or our eyes aren't in biocular function, uh, that system can be distressed by many of the things we're stressed about. We then start to use the postural set of muscles and we lose the corticospinal strength. And the postural set of muscles uh, uh, under the, the, the mind control, but they're not the autonomic muscle sense that keeps us upright and powerful. So then we start to go to muscular strength and that leads to strains and stresses because the joints are now working in a totally different way. They're not free and pendulum type movements, rotary pendulum. When the spine works properly and revolves around the pelvis of the hips in walking, our movements with our arms and legs become cross-patterned, helicular, free-swinging movements. And this is the power potential base. And this is where Atsomi's uh, Taijitsu sort of emanates from. Yeah, well, as I say, that they develop uh, in, in the uterus uh, at the age of six weeks. And they develop with the eyes. And research has shown that as, as we move our eyes, we all, that also works with the neck muscles on the crawling baby. And the multifidus muscles also produce movement. So eye movement and multifidus and spinal movement go hand in hand. So as the baby's crawling, it develops lots of reflex behaviours. So it learns to feed itself, it learns to stand up, it learns not to fall over. All these reflexes develop. It learns to speak, uh, it learns to think in different ways, different behaviours. All come from reflex behaviour. And it comes from the movement of the eyes and the orientation of these multifidus muscles moving as one in the crawl mechanism. And what the muscles do is form like a truss or a sleeve around the spine. Uh, and as they're, they're, they're fully triangulated, so as, the, as they move, they stiffen in such a way to produce curves, which is the sort of house of power uh, of the body. This is called corticospinal strength. And Hatsumi says that all power comes from your spine and spinal movement, and that everything was in your walk. So what I wanted to research for many, many years was the, the, the integration of the spine and where this power base came from, rather than using our postural or muscular set of uh, muscles.